Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're gonna see how to create this glass morphism that you can see in here using Adobe XD. But before we're gonna do that, make sure to subscribe and comment and give a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's go and open Adobe XD and as you can see we have the welcome interface so we're gonna create a new document using the 1920 web resolution and click on it all right now we're gonna actually open an image uh, in this canvas so let's go back to our folder and let's go for this one in here so we'll drag it and open it in the same document and then I will drag the image and I will zoom out a little bit and I will resize it without using shift or anything because in Adobe XD it will resize it accordingly all right so Adobe XD is probably the the more of the easiest uh, software to do the glass morphism because it's a UI based uh, software but I'm gonna show you how to do that using this image in here all right for us to apply a uh, a glass morphism we need to create a rectangle let's create a normal rectangle like that and let's round the corners just a little bit to make it look like a glass all right so now we're gonna play with the fill and the borders so let's start with the borders of this rectangle so let's open the borders and make the color set white and let's put down the opacity to like 30 percent or 25 percent all right, and let's go to the fill in here. So the fill in here, we're gonna actually uh, change the solid color to a linear gradient because we want to apply a, a gradient like we did in the other tutorials. So we're gonna change the colors like we did. So the first color is set to white, which is good. Now we need to change the second color stop and change it to white. And in the second color stop, I will put down the opacity to like let's say like 10% or or 8 and in the first color stop I will put down the opacity to like to 35% or 30% and then you can change the angle of it using this in here you can just change angle to wherever you want maybe following the light source so maybe I would keep it around here and I think the second color stop it's a little bit strong so let's put it back to like seven or seven percent and this one I'm gonna make it a little bit up just like that all right so now we have our glass in here now we need to apply the blur so to do that we're gonna make sure that we are selecting the, the rectangle again and actually I think the border I want to make it even down in the opacity somewhere like 10 or 12 percent yeah something like that all right for us to apply the, the blur effects it's actually quite easy you can just go to the effects in here and choose background blur and uh, I like to put the brightness to 0 percent because I don't want to change the brightness of the image under or below our our glass so let's keep it zero in the brightness and the opacity I will make it 100% and then you can and then you can actually choose the amount of blur you want as you can see the more blurry the more like the canvas or the image will disappear so let's keep it around 20 in here and that's it that's how you created a, a glass morphism in adobe xd it's really quite easy to do and you can move it around to wherever you want but i think i want to apply a like an inner shadow too to give it more like uh, these edges in here they are look very nice so let's put the x to three and the blur i think i will make it 10 so i will keep the x3 and the y3 
and in the color I will make sure that it's set white and maybe I will actually make the X6 to 6 just to make it a little bit stronger and let's see before and after yeah, I think I will change the X to 3 and the Y I will make it like 2 and let's see yeah, I think I like it more like this maybe I will keep it the same 3-3 three, three. All right, so just I want this to be a little bit stronger with the opacity to like 40 percent all right so I like these edges in here and also you can apply a drop shadow if you want but for me I would keep it like that and that will be all so that's how you apply a glass morphism in Adobe XD Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.